Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's learn about the blood supply of young long bone. The arterial supply of long bone is derived from many of the arterial sources because it needs more nourishment. These are the epiphyseal plates. That means it is still the growing end. This is the growing end. And here, there is no epiphyseal plate of the cartilage that means the growth is completed here these are the periosteal arteries around the metaphysis these are the epiphyseal arteries those are present in the epiphysis of bone this is the main artery called nutrient artery these are small bends called as hairpin bends of metaphyseal arteries these are present before the epiphyseal fusions now let's discuss in brief about the following arteries Coming to the nutrient artery, coming to the nutrient artery, it is the main artery of a bone. It enters the shaft through the nutrient foramen and runs through the cortex and divides into ascending and descending branches into the medullary cavity. Each branch divides into a number of small parallel channels which terminates into the adult metaphysis by anastomosing with the epiphyseal and the metaphyseal periosteal arteries. The nutrient artery supplies the medullary cavity. It supplies medullary cavity inner two-third of cortex and metaphysis. It supplies the medullary cavity, inner two-thirds of the cortex and the metaphysis. Coming to the growing ends, the growing ends of bones in upper limb and lower limb. First one in upper limb. In upper limb, the growing ends are upper end of humerus and the lower end of radius and ulna. Coming to the growing ends in the lower limb. These are the upper ends of tibia and the lower end of femur. These growing ends of the bones can be remembered by a mnemonic called as To the elbow I go, from the knee I flee. To the elbow I go, from the knee I flee. These are the mnemonics for the growing ends of the bones in upper limb and the lower limb. Now coming to the second part, the periosteal arteries. These are especially numerous beneath the muscular and ligamentous attachments. These are present between below the muscular and ligamentous attachments. They ramify beneath the periosteum and enters the Volkmann's canals to supply the outer one third of cortex. So these supply outer one third of cortex. These supplies. Now coming to the epiphyseal arteries, the third arteries, third main. These are derived from the periarticular vascular arcades found on the non-articular bone. This supplies the epiphyseal plates of the arteries of the growing ends. Coming to the metaphyseal arteries. These are the metaphyseal arteries. These are derived from the neighboring systemic vessels. They pass directly into the metaphysis and reinforce the metaphyseal branches from the primary nutrient artery. So, this is all about the blood supply of the young long bone. Remember the mnemonics 
to the elbow i go from the knee i flee for the growing ends and the nutrient artery direction if you like my video please subscribe my channel and you can suggest the topics on which i can make the videos thank you